these right here are the 10 best songs and or covers that Pucci Ariani has ever done. Let's dive right in. What's up guys? Welcome to local band Smokeout. Smokeout. Any genre from anywhere in the entire world. I want to hear your music. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another local band, Smokeout. I am your host, Isaiah the Most BG, and this list was extremely, extremely difficult to uh, put together. I have selected what I, in my opinion, my 10 favorite songs and or covers from Pucci Ariani that uh, I've heard or, and discovered over the last year and a half. And uh, this is completely, we just go from, we just go from 10 to 1, 10 being my 10th favorite, obviously number one being my uh, my all-time favorite. Hopefully you guys uh, agree with some of these. It's completely opinion. Everyone's going to have a different list. In fact, I encourage you to please comment below and tell me your 10 favorites in order in the comments. And let's go ahead and get it started right here. Number 10 is actually going to be the Bohemian Rhapsody cover, but it's when she was younger, the younger version of it. It's um, I think this was like the second or third video I ever saw of Putri playing, and it was a really good example of how She's been so talented since she was like 10, 11 years old. And uh, that song in general, not just singing wise and vocally arrangement wise, it, it, it's very, very tough to play and sing simultaneously. And she absolutely nails it. So number 10 for me is the Queen cover of Bohemian Rhapsody, the first one, the original one, not the not the newer version, which is also fantastic. But I prefer that one right there. Um, the next one for me is going to be Mimpy which translates to dream. I believe Mimpy was the first time that I saw a full band uh, performance with Putri, and it, it's just fantastic uh, how everyone just comes together and makes that song amazing. So I have that one as my number nine right there, which is Mimpy. Um, I, I struggled a little bit with where to put this next one because I think it's important to recognize some of her older stuff, not just the new stuff. So number eight, is going to be I Love You, Mama and Papa, which I think is going to cause uh, some gasps and surprises from some people, and that's okay. But it's just such a sweet song about about how important family is and um, just it, not a lot of artists take the time to to do stuff like that, to write music about your family and your mom and your dad, and, and I thought that was a really, really cool one. Again, a really old one from when she was a lot younger, probably eight or nine years ago, seven, eight, nine years ago it was actually recorded. But uh, that's going to be my number eight right there, leading us to number seven. And uh, the first time I heard this, I said, oh, man, if she pulls this one off, then this is this is not an easy song to cover by any means. And that is I Will Always Love You, originally done by Dolly Parton, I believe, and then also made famously by Whitney Houston. But uh, she, I think she did this one at... A live performance somewhere I might have been at a fashion show I don't recall I know she's done a couple like fashion show performances but um when I heard this this particular cover I was just absolutely stunned and blown away so I put that as my number seven and uh, I think we've got what oh no there is another one okay so we got another cover coming in at number six and that is Olivia Rodrigo's version of happier and uh, it's just one of those songs where by by this point, having heard her do the Queen the Queen cover, the Whitney Houston one, and then the Olivia Rodrigo cover for for Happier, it's just proof that she can really basically cover anybody's song and and make it sound amazing and, and put a twist on it and just have her do her thing. And uh, it's I just I just love watching her play. She plays so beautifully. She sings so beautifully. She is beautiful. So um, and I'm a big Olivia Rodrigo fan. So. That uh, is why I went with that as my number six right there. And then we have made it to the top five. Best. Pucci Ariani songs and or covers. And uh, my number five is actually a song I just discovered like three days ago. I had never heard this one before. It is Tak Mampu Lupa, which translates to Can't Forget. And it just has a, a really, really cool emotional video to it. And the song is beautiful. It's It's quite just stunning and catchy and it's it's almost like a tearjerker the way that that song goes about and um i don't know i'd never heard that one before and i thought it was just absolutely amazing especially having to see 
the video to simultaneously go with the song. I thought it was great. And uh, I think these next four, these final four, uh, most Pooch Ariani fans are absolutely going to recognize, especially if you're kind of new to to her music. You're definitely going to know these these next four. Number four is uh, Perfect Liar. Got to go with Perfect Liar just because the that video is amazing. I love the fact that she's in in the field at the one part with the with the big piano shot and then it has the uh like almost like the edge of like a lighthouse on the beach and she's got like this little pathway that she's kind of staring out into the ocean. I love those shots right there. And Perfect Liar the song itself actually gets stuck in my head um just because of how awesome that song is. It's very very catchy, very clean. And um, yeah, I'm sure at this point you guys disagree with most of my list and that's okay. It's just an opinion. We're all just having fun here. Again, please comment below. Tell me what your um, what your list is as far as uh, your top 10 favorite song that she's ever done and or covered uh, in the past. Please let me know. I'm interested to read those. Number three is going to be a new song featuring Alan Walker and Peter Elias. And that song is called Who I Am. And every time, I think I've done like, I did a reaction video for the song when it came out, a reaction video for the lyric video, <clears throat> one for the music video. And then if we do one more, which is gonna be the music video, the performance music video, that will set a personal record as I've never reacted to an individual song, whether it's different versions or not, four times. So this will, this will be, and it's coming soon, as soon as we get the snow cleared out over there in Norway. Um, I'm going to be checking out the, the performance video of it, but that song's amazing. I dance every time the, the drop comes in. You guys have probably seen it a couple of times in the videos. I, I can't help it. It's just so catchy when that, when that comes in, it just hooks me every single time. Number two is loneliness. I love loneliness so much. In fact, it's my favorite individual song that I've ever heard from Poochery as far as her original content. The line, uh, you break my heart. I think she says break my hope after that. I love, that's how, what I hear at least. I absolutely love that line and the way that she sings it. You break my heart, you break my hope. I can't sing it all, but you know where I'm going with that. It's just so good. And it always comes back to me and comes back around where I'm like, man, I, I want to hear some poetry today. What are we jamming? And I think that's odd that like people are always like, oh, you get all these tattoos. You used to be in metal bands and, and all this stuff. Like, you probably just listen to metal all day. And it's so far from the case. I listen to EDM, um, hip-hop, poetry, R&B, all kinds of stuff throughout my day. I'm very, very uh, outside-the-box mind-thinking when, when, when it comes to music. I love just jamming all kinds of stuff. So that's kind of like a song I always go back to for her is, is Loneliness. And I, again, I think that's my personal favorite uh, individual song that she's that she's written that's not a cover which would lead you to believe that my number one is a cover and it is okay. Okay. my favorite song slash cover slash performance ever for Pucci Ariani is on America's Got Talent the U2 cover of I Still Haven't Found What I'm Looking For I've probably played that thing like 40 times it's it's she completely rearranges that entire song and I just get goosebumps every time I hear it. And I love watching the actual performance. You can see Simon's just like, he just cannot believe what he's seeing and hearing. And the way that she is, a, now I feel, she just holds it and everyone just like, just can't believe it. It, it was the moment that I visually saw a crazy talented artist metamorph into a global superstar was that performance so for me that will always be my favorite for now i'm sure there's something coming down the road that she'll she'll have for us that'll change change that opinion and, and rearrange the list but yeah bohemian rhapsody going from 10 to 1 bohemian rhapsody mimpy i love mama and papa i will always love you happier tack mampu lupa perfect liar who i am loneliness and still haven't found what i'm looking for which is a youtube cover and uh, yeah, hopefully you guys dig these, man. They, t they take a lot of work for me on the side with all my lists. I This is like my third piece of paper because I keep rearranging them and I can't ever figure out like what order I want to do the songs. Because to me, it's like once you've filmed it and said that's the order, that is what it is. So um, yeah, it's, I have a lot of fun doing these. Please comment below if there's another artist that you'd like me to do a top 10 for. 
Um, if you ended up enjoying this, please consider clicking the subscribe button for me as we have over 60 something reactions for Pucci Ariani. So you're in, you're on the right channel. Localbandsmokeout.com, there's everything you need me to shoot for you and you need it done immediately, usually done in 24 hours or less. Put your music into space, literally into the atmosphere. Bandruption.com is 100% free to sign up for. You can find a link for them in the uh, description of this reaction video, as well as a link to our Patreon. If you'd like this show to grow and expand, me to be able to shoot more content more often, please consider checking out our Patreon. It looks like this at the very, very end of the video, or go to patreon.com slash localbandbg. And uh, finally, if you're playing shows here in the States, you got to have merch. It's very important. And I highly recommend mymerchguy.com. Use code LBS420 for an excellent discount. In fact, that discount can save you hundreds of dollars. Uh, other than that, though, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. I am your host, is High the Most, BG, saying cheers. Keep blazing and peace. I'll see you next time.